A push to redefine what hunting is in Wisconsin is underway. The move comes on the heels of a case of killing deer in Wapaka County. Animal cruelty charges have been dismissed against two of the three defendants, Rory and Robbie Kinsey. The Kinseys and Nicholas Hermas were charged with running down deer with their snowmobiles and killing the deer last winter. Now a state lawmaker from the area says the state needs to change what the law considers to be hunting. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has our balance coverage. Six deer run over and killed by snowmobiles. The attorneys for two of the defendants, Robbie and Rory Kinsey, successfully argued the men were hunting, admittedly out of season. The third man, Nicholas Hermes, is expected to use a similar defense, and under current law, any form of hunting cannot be considered cruelty. Now a state lawmaker from the area wants to take the issue to Madison. Equating using a snowmobile to hunting uh, is kind of a slap in the face to legitimate hunters. Republican Representative Dean Coffert says the current definition of hunting is too vague and he wants to redefine it so cases like this could be subject to serious cruelty charges. I'm not surprised because I know that the public reaction has been significant. The attorney for Robbie Kinsey says coming up with a new standard definition won't be easy. I think that it'll be a very difficult task to redefine hunting to capture all of the activity that the DNR wants to regulate uh, but then separate out intolerable acts of hunting which is really what the public is convinced that this has been. Hopefully in the next week we'll actually have some language for other legislators to look at. The prosecutor in the cases has requested an appeal of the Kinsey's decisions to the Attorney General's office and says he wouldn't want any action by state lawmakers to get in the way of that. I think the legislature would be well advised to just wait and see what comes out of the, uh, the appellate process. Uh, if the Attorney General's office chooses to decline the appeal or they're unhappy with what the position of the Court of Appeals and or Supreme Court is, then they can certainly feel free. The entire state has heard about it. Crawford says he does not want to interfere with this case, and while he would like to have a new definition in place by this hunting season, the appeal process could take much longer. In Wapaka, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. All three defendants in the case are scheduled to be back in court either later this month or next month.